Moving on to second question. In triangle ABC, AD is perpendicular bisector of BC. Then show that triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle in which AB is equal to AC. Now moving on to the solution. Let us note down the given information that is AD is perpendicular bisector of BC. Now let us know what is the perpendicular bisector. A line segment is said to be perpendicular bisector of other line segment if both are mutually perpendicular and one of the line is dividing the other line in the equal ratio. So we can say that as AD is perpendicular bisector of BC, BD will be equal to DC and angle ADB and angle ADC will be 90 degrees. So in the given information we can also include this data that angle ADB is equal to angle ADC and BD is equal to DC. Now let us note down the required to what is required to prove that is triangle ABC is isosceles with AB is equal to AC. In order to prove that AB is equal to AC, if we can prove for the congruency of triangle ADB and ADC, thereby using that concept that corresponding sides and corresponding angles of two congruent triangles are equal, we can say that AB will be equal to AC. Now, moving on to the procedure, let us consider triangles ADB and triangle ADC. In this, we know that angle ADB is equal to angle ADC which is given and also BD is equal to DC which is also given and here AD is common side for both the triangles. Now by side angle side property we can say that triangle ADB is congruent to triangle ADC that is by side angle side property we can say that triangle ADB is congruent to triangle ADC when two triangles are congruent then their corresponding sides and corresponding angles will be equal therefore we can equate side AB to side AC which is the required proof and therefore we can say that given triangle ABC is isosceles triangle.